All right, let's do uh, MVP, all those awards. Uh, yeah. Make, you want to go with yours first? Well, we can talk at, ad nauseum about what MVP actually means. Most valuable great player to a team. Okay, then I don't see how it's anybody but Aaron Rodgers. I'm with you. And it's not fun. It's, it's not sexy. But it is he's fun because the there's some arguing because people have kind of turned it into – Hub turned it into a thing. There's some people that are going to turn it into a thing. He's the best player who means the most to his team. I just and he's wish a quarterback. it could have been that Jonathan Taylor or Cooper Cup or somebody I'm outside. just not buying that. No, I'm with yeah. you. I, 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 think it, I think the answer is Rodgers. Maybe we just change the name of the – Best most, quarterback. Most <laughs> vaccinated, valuable quarterback. <laughs> okay. Of the year Schrager, what do you got? Which eliminates Rodgers. I don't have a vote. So they get 50 votes out. And I think you'd be surprised at some people who do have votes. Like, it's not just old white sports writers, yeah. like the Hall of Fame yeah. in a lot of ways. Like, I've got colleagues at both places, NFL Network and Fox, that I was pleasantly surprised to see have votes in this thing. And they don't reveal their names. And I think it's kind of cool. So it's not just the hub arkushes out there who are like longtime sports radio guys um so i think there might be some diversity in the pick here but i think at the end of the day i just think rogers was ascending at the end of the year those yeah. like the last six weeks were his best six weeks he didn't have the best season of his career they weren't the best they've ever been with rogers and yet he was just the game was in slow motion for him when it mattered most and he won a lot of big games down the stretch so i would go rogers but it isn't a slam dunk i think you could make a good case for brady or cup yeah and they've given up like sneaky a lot of points i've said their yeah. their defense has made me trust them the thing that made me not trust them the past two years as far as contending is now the thing that they've stabilized and but they've still given up a lot of points which is all the same to an offense uh and an offense who lost tunyon who has had a bunch of shuffling on the offensive line. And I'm not going to hold Devontae Adams against Aaron Rodgers. I'm just not. No. Not when we're talking about Tom Brady having Mike Evans, Chris Godwin, Aaron. Gronk, uh, AB for a while. Um, Buddy, right, Randall, Randall Cobb. Randall Cobb. It, it, we fought the Trojan War over Randall Cobb. So so he's very he's Helen of Troy. He's very important. But he's not the guys down in Tampa or whatnot, or the guys down in Dallas. Okay, offensive player, you're right. This sounds like it's Jonathan Taylor for you. I'll go Cooper Cup. Cooper Cup. I'm going to go Jonathan Taylor. Okay. I'm going to get chalky. Shregs, tell us about these breakfast meetings between Stafford and Cup. I mean, it How sounds like know? I love a, that you know that. How do you know me saying that? I said that and I got crushed for it. Uh, I'm a big Peter true. Schrager fan. Every morning, I love make, I love that you even reference that because I referenced it on Simmons' podcast and I got about 300 texts from people being like, Shut the fuck up with your with your morning <laughs> breakfast meetings. Like that's not why he's the best player. They did a whole graphic on Monday Night Football. It was a terrible graphic uh, of those guys eating breakfast in the morning. Uh, Six thirty in the morning every day. It's the two of them, and they go over it, and they go over like quarterbacks would in the quarterbacks room. And and Stafford goes through all his shit with Cup, and Cup goes through all his stuff with Stafford. But even more than that, which I think is interesting. So when Cup was drafted, Jared Goff and him, they shared the same agent and Cup lived with Goff and then they became best friends. And then once they shipped Goff out, it's not like Cup was sitting there wallowing. He immediately befriended Stafford. And now his wife, Anna, is best friends with Stafford's wife, Kelly, and they travel to the games together and it's a whole thing. So like this stuff might not matter or it does. It does matter. How does the baseball player feel about this? You know, how does the pitcher feel about this? Kershaw. Stafford's best friend. Kershaw. After you know what all I mean? the times I heard that factoid on Thanksgiving Day. Did you know? I know. It's, <laughs> there's a better friend now. There's a new friend. It's a replacement in town. friend like Saving Silverman. Are all these <laughs> breakfasts in the facility or are they going to uh, breakfasts? Is breakfasts. Every morning. Is breakfasts. That's the plural. <laughs> all right, give me your, your offense. I got a cup. I'm you got going cup. With cup. Okay. And I thought and I thought in that game, that drive, that was like Cooper Cup, end around. Cooper Cup, sideline pass. Cooper Cup, block for Sony Michelle. Cooper Cup, back of the end zone. It was like, he didn't win that game, but that was like him dropping the mic, being like, all right, come on. I do feel, I feel like I'm holding it against him that he makes it look so easy. It's you really know, like good. He, he looks so, it, it looks so effortless, and you have this, this stigma where like, hey, it's about the offense too, because they've, mm -hmm. they've kind of they gotten buckets with a bunch of people. But, okay, defensive player of the year, TJ Watt. terribly interesting answer. TJ Watt. TJ Watt. Hmm. I, I can make a case for Micah Parsons. Yes, you certainly could. And you know who made a great case for Micah Parsons? The Dallas fucking Cowboys the other yeah. night against the Eagles. Yeah. Yeah. They didn't look good without him. <laughs> I, I'm going to say, I'm going to say Micah Parsons on this one because as great as TJ Watt is, and the feat is amazing. 
I, I think that defense was changed overnight, and Parsons was everything to them. You so can't I'm be Michael wrong. Parsons. You can't be I'm wrong with Michael. that answer. You can't be wrong with that. Comeback player of the year. I, I'm going to show my my bias here. I'm going to go Nick Bosa. I know it's an offensive. Respect uh, it. But Nick Bosa had 15 and a half sacks or something. Everybody lost their shit when he had eight and a half as a rookie, and a lot of those were covered sacks. A lot of those were like, hey, you know, the, he's just even better. And uh, and the team wasn't as high profile, so we didn't pay attention until December. But his injury was a big deal, and he's for him to come out and reestablish himself or establish himself is really a top five rusher. Where I didn't he's think he was a top five rusher is rookie year. The guy deserves defensive comeback player of the year. Joe Burrow, quarterback, Cincinnati Bengals. Leg exploded. His leg exploded. It's it's also a um... leg exploded late in the year, dude. And you want to root for guys you like. I love Joe Burrow. He's just, he's got okay. a... No argument. He's got an aura about him. He does have an aura. The leader. Rick leader James. of men, Joe Rick Burrow. James aura. <laughs> I'm going to go, I'm going to go Joe Burrow also. I did have a, a take that this award has now just become the player that suffered the knee injury who comes back. Like, yeah. there should be another award of, for guys like, uh, you know, Cordero Patterson, who out of nowhere has like this career year, or yeah. Darius Slay, who people were ready to like write off, and Darius Slay's a shutdown corner again. Like, there's something to be said for the veteran who in week nine, in year nine or year 10 is like, no, F that. Like, I could still go. That's so a- I'm going to say Joe Burrow, but I, I've got a different feeling on this award the Schrager Award. The Schrager Award. I like this. Had the Falcons covered last week, maybe Cordero. Yeah, could, but the uh, covering was not going to look. You would have yep. killed yeah. both of us. They didn't kill both of us. Some of us are doing pretty well late in the season. But 